Hi, this is Nolan Hames from PresentYourStory.com, and today I want to show you a cool little hack for getting content to jump on top of other content in the Slide Master. So this might be a situation where, uh, like we have here, where you have a full screen image uh, for a title or a divider treatment, but you want a logo to always float on top of it. And what a lot of people do, uh, and what we've done here, is this is just a blank layout with the full screen image, and then the logo is also just floating free. And this might be fine if it's a one-off slide, but if you want to templatize this to make it easier for users to just go in, swap images, and always have the logo uh, show correctly in, in the right spot, uh, it gets a little tricky. What a lot of people will do is they'll go ahead and try to make a layout. We have a full screen uh, image placeholder here, and then they'll plop the image or uh, the logo right on top of it. The problem with this, though, is when we go back to slideshow here, and I'm going to move, this is our, our temporary image, I'm going to move this over here. If I apply that layout now, thinking that the, we're going to see the Acme logo jump on top, this is what happens. So this, we did fill this with the placeholder now. You can see that, that is filled with a placeholder, but where's our Acme logo? It's underneath. And this is because image placeholders or any placeholders will always come forward will always jump on top of anything else that's not a placeholder so in this case you're never going to see that logo you're always going to have to end up you know one by one slide by slide putting uh, the logo on top of this the solution for this though is to go back to your your slide layout and to create a cutout in the placeholder for this acme logo to shine through so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy my acme logo just load it up on my clipboard I'm going to select my picture placeholder first, then the logo. Now I'm going to go to Merge Shapes and go to Subtract. And what happens is that logo actually sort of cookie cutters out a little window in the picture placeholder. It's still a picture placeholder. It can still be filled with an image, but it, there's a little window there. So now all I need to do is Control V to paste my logo back in. Remember, it was just on my clipboard. Now, since I've changed the layout, if I go back to my slide here and uh, reapply this logo, or reapply this layout rather, boom, you can see that that cutout placeholder has been filled completely with the image, but the Acme logo shines through because there's, there's just nothing there for, for uh, it to, mask, to, to be masked with. Now, this is a, a cool technique you can use in a, in a number of different ways. You can use it uh, for this. You could also, if you just had a picture placeholder that you wanted a cool effect made out of, let's say you didn't like a rectangle, but you wanted like a, a neat sort of cutout here for, for this layout, we could go and, uh, let's see, we'll, uh, maybe we'll, we'll take a, a ten-sided uh, shape here. And we can move over here. If we select the placeholder first, then our shape, go to Merge Shapes again, subtract. What we get now is this cool picture placeholder that can then be filled with an image just like we saw before. Uh, you can also edit the points um, of, of any placeholder as well. It looks like I, I missed those couple things on the end. But uh, you get the point. You can make, as long as you um, select the image placeholder first, then you can use other uh, shapes and things to, to make your custom cutout. Uh, so that is really good if you are in a situation where you have like a rectangular logo or a circle shape or something simple. But if you do have something more complicated, for example, here we have the, this other version of the Acme logo. There are a whole bunch of shapes, and this is just a, a transparent PNG I have here. There are a whole bunch of different shapes that's going to make it very difficult to make that cutout. And in a lot of cases, by doing multiple shapes, you're going to lose uh, the actual image placeholder property as well. So in this case, uh, there's another technique you can use, and that is to put another placeholder on top of your picture placeholder. So follow me on this one. I'm going to temporarily just uh, get rid of my... Well, actually, first thing I'm going to do is uh, insert a text... Uh, I need to go to my slide master. I'm going to insert a placeholder. I'm going to insert a text placeholder, and there's going to be a reason for this, but and I'm going to make it the exact size of my logo that I have. So let me just uh, make sure it's the exact size here. Great. The next thing I'm going to do, uh, I'll move it off to the side actually, I'm going to get rid of my logo. We're going to bring it back in a second, but I, I don't need it now. 
here. So I'll move, I'll move my uh, text placeholder back over here, and I'm going to go in and, and edit this text, all this uh, sort of custom, this fill-in text. You can customize it. it. It can be anything you want. But in this case, I'm just going to delete it, add in a, sp a space. Uh, that'll prevent the default from coming back. And then also just get rid of the bullet because we don't need that. So this is a text placeholder now with essentially nothing in it. However, we're going to fill it with a picture. So we're going to go up to our shape options, go to picture, and you'll see what, what it actually just filled it from my clipboard. But I'm going to go back here and you can fill any image file into this shape, right? You can also fill it with a, 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 a pattern or, or an image, but in this case, we're filling it completely 100% with that PNG shape. Now, remember I said that placeholders will respect uh, sort of your layering order here. Uh, so an image placeholder will not jump ahead of our text placeholder. So now I can go back to my slides go and insert a new one here. Oh, that's, uh, that's the one we saw before, but that's not the one I want. I want this new one that I just created. And you'll see we've got this this placeholder here, it's actually a text placeholder showing the logo. And if I go and insert my image, it does not jump on top of my Acme logo placeholder. And you, you know it's a text placeholder because we have the dotted lines here. Those, of course, won't show up in slideshow mode or in print, only in layout mode. The only caveat with this one is it can be a little dangerous in that users can move it around. They also, if they really wanted to, they could start typing text into it, which of course they shouldn't. So if you are going to use this technique, which, which I like a lot, but if you are going to use it, you might want to put a little note on the pasteboard just telling users what's going on, why they shouldn't touch this text box, and that all they should be doing is, is swapping out the image. And uh, so that, those are two techniques for getting content, specifically logos, to jump on top and layer on top of other images using uh, the slide master and using layouts. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe and please come to presentyourstory.com. You can check out a lot of uh, articles and, and news about uh, the presentation world. And uh, again, I'm Nolan Hames. Hope you enjoyed.